Are you tired of Fortnite lagging on your low-end PC, dropping frames in crucial fights, or dealing with that annoying stutters? Today I shall show you how to squeeze out every last FPS with easy pull one optimization design for budget system. No complicated setups, no unnecessary junk file, just a real tweak that works. So stick around, follow step by step, and let's make Fortnite smooth on your ultra low end PC. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to set our Fortnite priority onto the highest priority. Therefore, we can use all the resources of our computer. So guys, for that, you need these files on your PC, and these files will set your Fortnite priority permanently onto the highest priority. Therefore, you can use the maximum resources of your computer. So guys inside here you will find that Fortnite above normal purity, Fortnite higher purity and Fortnite normal purity. You can also revert the changes anytime you want. So guys for your low end PC you have to go for this Fortnite higher purity dot registry file. Simply double tap here, hit yes, hit yes again and this will set your Fortnite onto the highest purity permanently. And if you wanna revert it back so you can simply install this Fortnite normal purity registry file on your system now in the next step we are going to disable the fso for our fortnite so for that go for your window search search for epic and open up epic games launcher now you have to go for the library option go for your fortnite click on the three doors and go straight into this manage option now from here you need to go for this installation option and click on the open install directory now you have to go for Fortnite game folder, find Wreath, win64, now just simply scroll down and find out here your Fortnite client win64 shipping.exe file. You can also guys find out by the size of this file, I just simply right click here, go for properties, go for compatibility. Now from here check mark onto the disable full screen optimizations and go for change high dpi settings. Now check mark onto the override high dpi scaling behavior and click ok hit apply and click ok and just simply close out of this directory now once you are done now you have to guys go for the option now again you have to click on the three doors go for options and from here you need to guys follow the same settings inside your fortnite installation option so first you have to uncheck the high resolution structures and simply check mark onto the pre-download steam acid therefore we can fix the pink spikes in our fortnite then hit apply and this will guys start downloading some assets on your pc for the fortnite now the next step here we got fortnite best game use settings and you can find out the link in the description for all the file so open up the folder here you will find out these three files that is the high end pc low end pc and mid end pc now choose here the file according to your pc this video is about low end pc optimization so i will go with low end optimization inside here you will find out these two resolution that i have created for low end pc users so guys you have to choose the file according to your needs the best i suggest you to try with 800 by 600 so open up the folder and just simply right click and copy the file from here once you copy it from here now press windows r together from your keyboard one of this run window on your screen now simply type here percentage sign local app data percentage sign again and hit enter now you have to find out fortnite game folder saved config windows client and here you'll find out your game user settings dot ini file just simply right click here go for this paste button and replace the file in the destination I have a good PC so therefore I am not replacing this file because I have already optimized my the settings and you can also guys watch out the full video on my YouTube channel how to optimize your game use settings for any PC build. Now once you are done with it now you have to guys simply close out of this folder. Now for the next step here we got all in one reg edits. So open up the folder inside you will find out all the registry that is for disabling game DVR, memory tweaks power tweaks prevent unnecessary app from automatic starting tweaks for your system and wake up all the calls it is very simple to guys install these files on your pc just have to double tap on the registry file hit yes hit yes again click ok and by the way if you got any problem in installing these files so guys for the peace of your mind you can simply right click here go for show more option 
go for edit and here you'll find that all the changes that will be applied on your pc after installing this registry file so guys just simply close out of it these are safe tweaks so simply double tap hit yes hit yes again click ok and do this for all the files now in the next step we are going to disable the power throttling setting on our system so for that press windows r together from your keyboard and this time type here gp edit.msc and hit enter now go for computer configurations administrative templates now go for system and simply scroll down and find out here power management folder so go for it and go for power throttling setting before changing the setting on your system keep in mind if you are on laptop so guys i suggest you to skip this setting but if you have a pc with good airflow so guys you have to follow this setting for getting some extra performance out of your system so simply double tap here now from here you need to guys enable the settings and this will turn off the power throttling on your pc this will limit the performance of your cpu and your gpu for preventing it from reaching the highest temperature but if you have a good airflow so guys you can enable the setting for getting the better performance now you have to hit apply click ok and close out of this folder now for the next step we are going to apply some other tweaks so guys for that you have to simply right click on your windows start icon and go straight into the device manager now you have to scroll down find out the system devices option and click on the drop down now scroll down again and find out high precision event timer this will help you optimizing your cpu and also help you to reducing the input delay of your mouse and keyboard so therefore right click here and disable the device from your system i have already disabled it so once you have disabled it now just simply close out of the device manager now in the final and the last step of this video we are going to optimize our windows power plan so for that go for your windows search again search for power and here you will find out choose a power plan so go for choose a power plan i'm using the bit some highest performance that is by the power control or the process lesser creators and this is one of the best power plan if you want to watch the full video how to get this power plan so guys you can go on my youtube channel and watch the video how to optimize your cpu so guys for now i'm going with the default one that is the high performance power plan now you have to go for this change plan settings go for change advanced power settings and simply follow the setting that is turn off the hard disk after zero minutes now scroll down go for maximum processor state and minimum processor state click on the drop down and set both settings onto the 100 percent if you are getting stutters and fps drops so then i suggest you to set all the settings onto the 90 percent therefore you cannot reach the 100 percent of your cpu and because of that you go to stutters so therefore set the value onto the 90 percent if you are getting fps drops and stutters in fortnite otherwise set it onto the 100 percent hit apply click ok and guys save the changes on your system after that close out of this directory now you have to simply one time restart your pc therefore all the changes properly take effect then launch your fortnite and enjoy the best performance out of it i hope so you love it please make sure to let me know your opinion about this video in the comment below and i will see you in the next video